finally from Marietta, California. Justin Thomas lumber out of the bunker on 10. Yeah. John McGinnis said that we would probably see this at some point and early in the morning to hit that shot but spectacular that just now it's going to funnel down into that low chipping area though you don't want to miss this hold to the right he's got to hit a great shot here to get it within about 10 or 12 feet. Pretty good. That was very well done. Yes, this green has always been great to him. Yeah, such an awkward little tee shot here at the 11th. You know you can't carry the bunkers on the left, but also too the run out on the right is the cover on the left. No problem there for Justin Thomas. That one straight down the sprinkler line. Perfect. I'll tell you what, Colin. Justin has just a look to him today that makes me feel like we might see something special. Yeah, yeah just 151 here for JT. Just taking it just a little bit of right of the flag stick. Exactly what you got to do here. That pin is cut tight today to that left side. Yeah, see if you can get a little birdie birdie start here to start his Friday morning. <laughs> Look at that ball just took forever to get to the hole to Justin Thomas now for his third. Yeah coming off the upslope a little bit here makes it easier but he hit such a pure little one at his first hole and that is pretty saucy again here. So opens with two birdies and So he falls two back of Xander Shoffley. This is Thomas's third. Ooh, and this got to the downslope here. This is going to take all of his talent. That was phenomenal just to get inside of 10 feet. All right, Justin Thomas is for a par at 14. From bunker to bunker to green to a five. Just not a hole that you're supposed to make a bogey on. That's it. Oh, another good bounce right into the upslope. Killed the momentum. Two great shots. Easy, easy. JT has a tendency to get his shoulders open and his right arm out a little bit. Very underrated ball striker, Terrell. Big Allen. time, big time. One of the best drivers of the golf ball on tour. This is for birdie. Good comeback well done. there for JT. I think because Hatton is so colorful in every other way. This guy really doesn't have a Kentucky accent growing up in Kentucky, where his father was a PGA professional there at Harmony Landing. And that almost stuck in the hole. Thomas. Just two feet, 11 inches away. Closest so far to that hole today. And Justin Thomas has got it to five under. Yeah, playing 220 yards today. And believe me, there's another tee box beyond that. You may see that used over the weekend. Thomas hits this super high, trying to get it to land soft. Uh, how about those, that shot? Justin Thomas again at a par three, taking dead aim and leaving himself with a great opportunity to get to six under in a tie for the lead. Justin Thomas, this. For him to get to six under, you can add his name to what is now nine players at six under. Got too much curve to the right. Look out, There's trees over there. There's a lot of danger. So realistically, look for this one to just get onto the green and then trundle back to the pin.
Does that very nicely. And this guy will probably be on that squad, won't he? Thomas. He now joins the group at seven under. Anything to the right, you're going to have a good chance at birdie. Justin Thomas. Well, he listened reaches to Andre. for the tee. Took it, took it down to right with a little draw. That is perfect. I like how he's swinging right now. Very patient at the top. Nicely balanced. Really well done right there. All right. Let's see if he can close things out the way he wants to. Still a very impressive round for Justin Thomas. A four under 67, following up a three under 68. So for Thomas seven under, that's one off the lead right now, but that will certainly put him in one of the later tee times tomorrow. Well, thank you. I'm here with Justin Thomas, four under 67 today. Didn't get off to the hottest of starts uh, with regards to those couple of bogeys after those uh, nice opening two birdies. You showed a lot of patience today. Is that something that you're sort of working on in particular, just to sort of stay in the moment a little bit more? For sure. I think uh, patience is always important in, in golf, and I think, uh, I mean, anybody can work on it, you know what I mean? And it's just, it's more for me of understanding, especially lately, that, you know, I'm playing, I'm playing plenty good enough. I'm just kind of on the edge. I'm close, and I just need to stick with it and stay patient. And I really feel like I've done that the last two days, and it's been nice to, uh, to have two good rounds of show for it. Yeah, and you talk about that patience, and we also talk about momentum all the time, and, you know, that eagle putt on 15, and then, you know, suddenly you're, you're sort of, you miss that one, it's a different kind of story, but you made it. And then, just talk to us a little bit about eight. I thought you might have actually tried to poke it up that right side and give yourself a little bit of a, an angle. Was that the plan? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I, I'm pretty sure I hit the tree and came, I mean, I got a little fortunate there, but, I mean, I told Bones, it's like, I, I there's not really much rough, really any rough this week, and and with that pin, I feel like it's very tough to wedge to. And I, I told Bones, I'm like, you know, if overcutting this is better than hitting it straight in that bunker. Because if it's in the rough, it's almost arguably easier because the ball will just kind of run up the hill like that. And um, it's nice when a plan uh, works out just like that. Absolutely. You're nice and refreshed. You took a little bit of time after Hilton Head. Uh, you spoke about your, your diet and change of habits there a little bit. Every, how's everything going? You feel great going into the weekend? Yeah, I do. I, I, I'm I'm happy with how I'm playing. I'm really happy with how these last two days have gone. Um, you know, I feel like my game's in, it's, it's in a good spot. And, and more importantly than anything, I feel like I'm in a good headspace. So uh, the time off was nice. And uh, see if we can go have some fun this weekend. Absolutely. As always, thank you for your time, Justin. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. Watch another video right here.